www.designcourse.com. Today, I'm going to be talking about the Gradient Mesh tool. And this is going to be a real quick tutorial that shows you how to use this very simple tool. So first, of course, we'd start out in Adobe Illustrator by creating a new document and then using the pen tool or one of the shape tools to create a basic path. So in our case, we're going to be creating a the end of a calligraphy pen or something like that. So as you can see, we just uh, use the pen tool to draw out the points real quickly. And then once we have our shape ready to go, we can use the gradient mesh tool located right here in the toolbar. So once you click it with your path selected, the way you use it is just to find a areas and just click left click and that is it. Once you have it clicked and specified for your first gradient mesh point, all you have to do is change the color uh, based on whatever you want to use in the swatches panel. And so once you do that, it will automatically create a gradient based on the gradient mesh that was created. And this depends on a number of different factors. It depends on how many times you use the gradient mesh tool to create anchor points within the mesh. Uh, but yeah, you can experiment with it and it can create some really interesting results. Though you do need to be mindful not to create too many gradient mesh points because there will be some distortion. And that is it. That's how you use this very simple tool. Check out designcourse.com slash premium where I help you become a better designer with one-on-one -on -one training and other design-related projects. All right, I'll see you next time.